Today we are talking about concealers. Yes, these are my ride or die favorite concealers. As an actress, as a makeup artist, you know, when I'm doing international, you know, films or magazine shoots, runway shows, like these are my ride or die favorite concealers. And today we're gonna to talk about them. They range from $5 to $60 and there's so many and there's definitely one here for you. Today, we're gonna to review them all. All right guys, let's get into it. Okay, so all of my favorite concealers are placed here in front of me, and then today I'm going to just try them on for you guys on one side of my face so you guys can see the difference between the different concealers and what they do. So I thought, let's talk about concealers today. Up first, we have the NARS. I'm going to just apply it on one side of my face and then you blend it out, and that way you guys can see what kind of coverage it gives. So this one is a doe foot, and it gives pretty good concealer coverage. So for me, this is where I would apply concealer. Again, I have no makeup on whatsoever, so it's a little bit weird for me because I don't even have foundation on because I figure, what's the point really? I'm just gonna continue to wipe my face off like 10 times in a row. So I'm just gonna tap this out on this side of my face. Again, I'm just using a clean beauty sponge for you guys because that's usually how I tap out my concealer. All right, just so you guys can see the comparison. So the concealer is on this side and I will continue to use this side of my face. The reason why I decided to use this side is because I have that blue vein right here. I hate it, it is like that thing that irks me so much about my beauty routine is I'm always trying to cover up that translucent blue skin under my eye. Only the one eye does it, which bugs me. Like, you know, at least be even consistent with it, but it's not. So I'm always gonna be complying it right here so you guys can see and get more of a fair comparison. So this side has the NARS concealer and this side doesn't. Let me know what you guys think about the NARS concealer in the comments down below. This one is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is a multi-use sculpting concealer. I love this. You guys know I rave about this. This has the biggest doe foot that I've ever seen for a concealer. Like this is phenomenal. I absolutely love this. So again, I'm just gonna place that right under my eye, just a little bit up here and down here. Normally, if I was doing my whole makeup routine, I'd go down the center of my nose, but we'll probably skip that step for today. Since the nose is kind of neutral for this, I just want you guys to see how this performs. So again, I'm just going in and I'm bouncing that out with my beauty sponge. I do go over the eyelid with my concealer. I also go in always, always with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. It's my favorite. It's my ride or die favorite. Now, Juvia's Place just launched eye primer the other day. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments down below and I will order it and review it for you guys. All right, so this one is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. What do you guys think of this one? Let me know in the comments down below. This one is also a ride or die. I mean, they're all my favorite concealers. So if I say my ride or die concealer like 100 times, or at least 10 or 12, whatever is on the table here, like they all are. But this one is such a good favorite of mine and so many people in the industry. This is the Dior Skin Correct Concealer. And this one also has a beautiful, beautiful doe foot on it, which I super love. And I'm just going to apply this under my eye. I'm just gonna tap this out. All right guys, so let me know what you think of the Dior Skin Correct Concealer. Next up, this is the Fenty Pro Filter Concealer.
All right, guys, let me know what you think of this Fenty Pro Filter Concealer. Like, I think it is so cute. Up next, we have the Kosas Concealer. So again, this one is super full coverage. I tried this actually the other day for the first time and I've fallen in love with it. I keep reaching for it. So this one has an amazing doe foot. Love that, but this is just so full coverage, so beautiful. All right guys, I'm just gonna tap this out. This one actually is the shade 1.5C. I find it pulls a little yellow on me, but not in a bad way. It just like warms up my skin tone. But look at how stunning that is, right? Flawless. And remember, I have no makeup on whatsoever because I just keep wiping it off for you guys, but this is amazing. Up next, IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is the Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. Now they have a whole bunch of these. This one I love. Like, I mean, I love all of them, but this one is just like that one that I love. Do you know what I mean? I mean, the Illuminous one is also so, so good. This one, I just, I love it. So this, I will actually just put on the back of my hand for you guys. That is a lot. You just need a tiny pea-sized amount of this concealer. I'm going to tap into that concealer, right like that, and I'm just gonna apply that under my eye. I'm just gonna go over my eyelid, because that's how I normally get, would apply it. Right here in my center of my forehead for that brightness. Like this is just such a beautiful product. I love this. I mean, they all are but they're all special in their own ways. And they all perform differently, as you guys can tell. Okay, like do you see how brightening that is? How full coverage that is? Like it's just like, that's it. You know, she's done, drop the mic. Like this is such an amazing product. So this one, again, <laughs> it's a ride or die favorite of mine. They all are, but I'm gonna say that probably a lot. This is gonna turn into a drinking game. But like, you know, if you have a sip, have one for me because I'm filming. But anyways, definitely, you know, this is such a great concealer. Up next, Kevin Aquan, the Sensual Skin Enhancer Concealer. This one is like a ride or die favorite for so many makeup artists. And I've seen so many people review this on Facebook and TikTok, you know, Instagram stories. Like this is just a viral, amazing concealer. So of course I picked it up. This one is in a little pot, so I've got my Handy Dandy Makeup by Mario Concealer Brush. I am gonna go in with a little bit of product. That is a lot of product, hang on. Let's take a little off. I am gonna go in with a little bit of product on the back of my brush, and I'm just going to apply this under my eye. This one is definitely more of a sticky consistency. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more to the side of my nose and right here and my chin and a little bit right here in the center of my forehead. But this is definitely more of a stickier, thicker consistency. This I feel like is going to last like such a long time because as you can tell, I have so many concealers. And these ones, the ones I pulled for you guys are just my favorite concealers so it's not like all of the concealers which is sad but fun at the same time but okay so let's go in and tap this out this one you have time because it is a bit of a more stickier kind of consistency to work with it and blend it out especially if you're using a lot of cream products like a cream contour or a cream bronzer. I like to put my concealer on after my foundation, so I feel like this is so weird for me. But this gives you guys that perfect how this works on natural skin, because a lot of people go in and do it the opposite way. They'll go in and put their concealer on before their foundation, which is fine if you prefer that method. I prefer the other way. But let me know what you guys think of this concealer in the comments down below. Alright guys, up next, Juvia's Place. 
this has to be probably the most full coverage out of the bunch because this one is just the most full coverage. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what the doe foot looks like. This is a massive doe foot. This reminds me a lot of the one from Too Faced, but this one's even maybe just slightly bigger. It's shorter, like the wand is shorter, but maybe the doe foot is actually the same size. But let's test it out for you guys. It's like erasing my face. All right, guys be ready to be blown away. I'm gonna go in with the exact same sponge. As you can tell, this one so far, I don't have it all blended in, but it just kind of spread. So you have to be careful if you don't want that brightening effect all over your face, because it's very, it's a very pliable concealer, which I love about it because sometimes, especially if you're working with all creams and you want that just to like blend really easy, this one's beautiful, so beautiful. All right guys, what do you think? She's erased. <laughs> this is such an amazing product and actually, you know what? Because right here, I don't love that blue line. I'm gonna show you what happens when I go in with just a little bit more of this product just a little bit the exact same juvia's place concealer we have our same sponge i'm just gonna go in we're just gonna add a second coat right under my eye because i want to show you guys just how buildable and full coverage you can make this like gone she's erased that is like cancelled 100 percent. so if you guys love that this one is juvia's place and so affordable like oh my gosh and they have sales all the time all right guys, finally, last but definitely not least, this is the one that actually started this whole video for me because I went into my local Shoppers Drug Mart and they had a huge display of e.l.f. products, which in Canada, it's hard to kind of see that other than at Walmart. So I saw this and I've never tried this product before. So this one is the 16 hour camo concealer from e.l.f. I picked up the shade Fair Beige and today I'm gonna test this out. So basically, I'm just gonna test this out for you guys, but I wanna see how it compares to my ride or die favorites, which are right here in front of me, the ones that we just tested out. So, all right guys, let's do this. I'm gonna unbox this. So many people have said that they love it. We don't need this. And this, this actually feels really big. This one seems like about a similar size to the Fenty one. This looks like it's gonna be super light. Hopefully it oxidizes as well. Okay, big doe foot, love that. All right, so the wand is huge, love that. Love a good, huge wand. All right, so I'm gonna go in and tap this out. So far, first impressions, it's very comparable to a lot of the concealers I just showed you. This one is like a more matte concealer, definitely. The ones I showed you, I feel like we're all more of a, a lighter, dewier finish. This one is very spreadable. It's very matte. It's definitely very matte. This is so brightening. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> Maybe I put too much on, to be honest with you, because it is a new product. This is definitely light for me. Okay, guys, holy smokes. Like, I just did a review on eight different concealers, and then this one is number nine. This is phenomenal. I can see why so many people rave about the e.l.f. concealer. Like, this is super phenomenal. Obviously with this on, I would need to kind of bronze up to use it. It is so brightening. I do feel like I probably went in with a bit too heavy handed with this, but this is so brightening. Wow. For our first impressions, shook. Like, wow, this is really amazing. 
but this one definitely is more of a matte finish. If you want a good matte finish concealer, hell yes to this one. Definitely also with the Juvia's Place, once it dries down, I feel like it gives you more of a satin finish, even though it's more of a, a matte. You know, this one's matte. Like this one is so matte compared to Juvia's Place. But this is so pretty. Love this. If you guys have a favorite concealer that I didn't review, such as this one right here that I just tried today, let me know in the comments down below. Sound off. I want to hear from you guys because I want to try more amazing concealers. All right, guys. Until next time, hope you love this video as much as I did making it for you guys. I hope you guys found this as informative and educational as I meant it to be. Remember, if you love videos like this one, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and subscribe to the channel. All right, guys. Until next time, live, love, and lip gloss. Bye.